Hi there, this is Ms. Nathan, and I am excited to share a story with you from our anthology. We are actually reading a genre that we have not done a lot of. It's called a how-to genre, and you will see on the next page why it's called a how-to. It's pretty exciting. So um, we're going to be looking at learning how to make instruments. The title of the story is Shake, Strike, Strum. Shake, Strike, Strum. Instruments can be a lot of fun. Instruments make different kinds of sounds. Strike a drum, rum bum bum. Strum a guitar, pling pling. Blow on a horn, toot toot. Shake it up. Some sounds are nice to hear, others are not. But all sounds have two things in common, pitch and volume. Pitch is how high or low a sound is. When you whistle for a dog, you make a high pitch sound. Volume is how loud or soft a sound is. When you whisper in class, you make a low volume sound. Let's turn the page. So you can make fun sounds too. Make these instruments and start a band. I thought it would be fun for you at home, if you have the supplies, to make an instrument. This is kind of where the how-to part comes in. So let's look at the first one. This one says how to make a guitar. You're gonna need a couple of things, a tissue box, rubber bands, tape, we love tape, and a ruler. First thing you do is you stretch four to six rubber bands around the box. Tape a ruler to the back of the guitar's neck. You can decorate the guitar too. Strum or pluck the rubber bands. When you're strumming and plucking, you're making the matter have a vibration. Vibrating matter makes sounds. This one looks fun too. How to make a shaker. What do you need? A plastic bottle, dried beans, stickers. What to do? Number one, put, into, put the beans into the bottle. Put fun stickers on it. Shake it and have fun. Now you can shake, strike, strum, and have some fun. So look at when they're writing a how-to. The first thing they do is they always start with what you need. Here's what you need for the guitar, and here's what you need for the shaker. And then they give you step-by-step -step directions, just putting them in order, right, normal. One, two, three, four. So a how-to always gives you what you need and also the directions of exactly how to create it. It'd be fun for you to make a guitar a shaker, or maybe you have a different idea. If you make a different instrument, write down what you used so that we would know how to make it, and also write down the different ways or the different directions of how you made it. We would love for you to share it with us, um, with your teacher, through email, and then we can let your friends see it. I hope you enjoyed the story and learning about how to write a how-to. See you later.